Hello, David Willey again, curator of the Tank Museum. I know a lot of you stuck at home trying to find reading material, so this is uh, another recommendation from myself for some of the things you can buy from our online shop, which at this particular moment is still going strong. Um, books I'd recommend, if you haven't got it already, the Dorlin Kindersley The Tank Book. Um, we put this together with DK, Dorlin Kindersley, a few years back. It is a beautiful book. I, I'm a book lover myself, and I have to say it is wonderfully illustrated all the way through. A lot of the imagery, photographs of the collection are in here. Um, there's, it's kind of almost like a bit of a catalogue of tanks as well, but in there some chapters on uh, other issues, manufacture, all sorts of things. Um, but the photography, I just have to say, is superb, absolutely wonderful. And uh, as I say, I, I would strongly recommend that. We've got the hardback version at the Tank Museum, and there's also a cheaper softback version that's slightly smaller um, than this size. But uh, one of those ones that, again, for reference, for model makers, for anybody that way, but also I would suggest as well, and if you read some of the reviews uh, on Amazon and other places as well, this one is great as well as a family book because again it's the sort of thing all ages the, the illustrations are very good that way so you can work your way through them all so review number one i reckon that's a goodie uh, another book if you're interested in a little bit more thicker history this one um, we wrote it with uh, uh, robin cross um, so in there there's a good history of armored warfare as it goes through the ages as well as a lot of beautiful illustrations from the tank museum's archives and collections that we all annotated and we put together some reproductions of documents at the time some of the bits and pieces that uh, coming out for example a range card for the 17 pounder that's in there as well this particular version i'm holding up we've got it in a hardback book version this particular version was done in a slip case so you can see there um, but have a look online another one i'd recommend and uh, we put that together um, with an intro there um, by Dan Snow as well. So that was put together a couple of years ago. Cracking book, still sells very well. I'd recommend that one as well for you. And again, uh, another one, some people have asked about what about personal stories. And one of the bits we did when we did this uh, tank centenary exhibition, which we basically tank men of the First World War, this is a catalogue to that. And if you haven't seen it, again, I'd recommend this one. Um, just flicking through, you probably can't see any of the images there. But we pick on some of those characters that we displayed in the museum uh, who were the first men in tanks who go into action in the First World War. Beautifully illustrated, some wonderful stories in there. David Fletcher wrote some, I wrote some, uh, and other bits and pieces. But that's a, a catalogue that, again, we've got on sale. I'd recommend that one, especially if you like the personal stories. And uh, another one that uh, we just got out for this season and typically were having to be closed because of what's going on at the moment, but our new Tank Museum Souvenir Guidebook. Now, why I recommend this one, if you're new to the subject, or even if you know a fair bit about the subject, what we've tried to do here is in the book, there's a really good history of the tank, lots of lovely illustrations as well from our collections. Um, but there's also things as well that I know people have been asking about, things such as um, how guns work. There's a whole section, technical section at the back um, how these different things come together, why armour is sloped, um, what's this issue about defence, why do we call things onion defence, these different layers of how you can protect yourself in a tank, communications, mobility, there's a lot of information including the charming title, how do you go to the toilet in a tank, so we've got a section there on how you can use a toilet in a tank as well. Um, but it's a, a nice thick one, it's, it's, it's much thicker than the old type of guide but we used to do lots of information, lots of uh, good illustrations there. And um, I think we're retailing this at about five pounds. So you get an awful lot there for your money um, if you're ordering one of these. So there's some other recommendations for some reading matter if you've got time on your hands. In these difficult times, obviously your support is really valued. So please do keep following us on social media, do subscribe to our channel, and, and if you've got the opportunity, perhaps order something from our shop, uh, join one of our schemes like Patreon or our friends organisation, and we'll try and keep going with giving you some content to keep you informed and entertained.